Welcome to Phoenix Anarchy, the youngest Minecraft Anarchy server ever. It began on the 10th of July and two and a half months later, look at the mess of spawn. It's all the fault of Hunt. He's one of four people that lead the biggest group on the server. They're called Fraternity! I'll be a member, but I don't really do the big bills like them. Now, if you're going to join this server, boy, you got to learn a few things quick. Yes, it's anarchy. That means you can have a hat crime. Don't be asking people if you can use a hat crime. Yes, you need to get out of spawn, which is like not that difficult at the moment if you got a hat crime, to be honest. But in a year or so, it's going to be getting real difficult, real difficult, real quick. So don't be joining and complaining that you can't get out of spawn. If you ain't got yourself no hat crime, you playing on the wrong server, boy. You need to learn quick, get yourself a hat crime. Everyone says meteor, I say meteor too, it's just I can't use that. Anyway, moving swiftly on, you gotta get yourself out of spawn, and then you gotta get yourself some wood, and then you gotta get yourself good. Don't be going in getting chat and begging for gear. Can you give me some kit? What, you think this is a charity, bro? This ain't a charity, bro, this is empty, bro. We're here, we're vibing, we're playing, but we don't like beggars, bro. You need to do your thing. You need to earn your spot. You need to get on in and get out there right. Build yourself up instead of in a bit of a vibing. So me joining the guy called Hunt. I told you about Hunt. He's one of them four guys. Now he has been building these little ships. These little ships, they fly in the air and they be duping the TNT, they be bombers. So we've been bombing. I say we've been bombing, I've been doing nothing really. I've been sitting in the bombers, that he builds the bombers, and all I gotta do is sit there and go up and down and up and down. Can't even do that very well. Keep folding up and dying and bombing the shit out of myself. So it don't really work out all that good for me, but I do it because it's kind of cool, you know. You might not think it's cool, but at the end of the day, you can't have an anti kill server where you just turn up and then spawn and all you do is walk five the hour and then you got wood and you do get good. So, you know, you gotta have a spawn and it's gonna be difficult to get out of and so in a little bit of time, it's gonna be real difficult. We got plans, we got big plans. We don't do, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not being funny with you. At the end of the day, there's things I think ought to happen like blowing up spawn. But it's also other things that I'm doing which I get in trouble for because I'm going to help build Never Highway too, man. I'm doing that a little bit, a little bit here, a little bit there, building anvils everywhere, building crafting tables everywhere. But, you know, all it takes is all just for fun. Don't forget, it is just a block game. I know you take it very seriously, so do I. You just got to move on, brother. You just got to play the game. Make yourself have some fun and then be chill, okay? Now, here uh, we've just arrived at Terror Town. And um, Terror Town is a remake here yeah, of uh, my first ever base from Nether Anarchy. Nether Anarchy was um, uh, another server, I think, and um, most of you may know it. Well, um, Terror Town was my first ever team base, and uh, it all started with um, a player called Jedanaika. And, uh, and this is a, a sort of faithful, uh, not not a faithful, sorry, remake of of Terror Town. And, and 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 it's really just in the in the guise of Terror Town. Now that's the the mountain with the the path, not not this sort of thing. Because um, just today, um, we, we uh, well actually now uh, yesterday, I'm recording this in the morning after the night before, and um, we, it all started with an idea of, of, of Mousy and I, and Mousy was a friend who I met and whom uh, we started anvil building together, uh, and, and, and eventually he joined me at, at Terror Town, and 
we reconnected uh, uh, recently and, and he was um, coming on to the Phoenix career. And we, um, we met up and we decided to um, uh, rebuild uh, Terror Town uh, to an extent, um, uh, just as a, a little fun base. And um, he, he's part of Venom Force, as a, a, and obviously I'm part of the fraternity. Um, but actually, uh, the fraternity and, 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 and Venom Force are, uh, are, are really quite good friends, to be honest. We're, we're kind of allies, aside from when there's um, uh, an egg speed run and, um, and, and, uh, and uh, Venom Force tend to get the egg. Um, so anyway, moving swiftly, uh, we, uh, we, we rebuilt uh, Terror Town on, on Phoenix Anarchy, which has been much fun, much fun, totes fun. And, um, and, and then we've had a few bits of fun and games. Uh, and, and then a, a chap from Venom Force, uh, quite an important chap from Venom Force, decided to join uh, or, or, or to come into Phoenix Anarchy. And, and, um, uh, and so uh, we, we kind of invited him to, to come to Terror Town, uh, and, and then, uh, and then um, some other people decided that, uh, given that this chap from Venom Force was coming, that they'd come as well. And before you knew it, we had a little gang gathering, and it was superb. Now, um, prior to that, there was no um, sort of emerald jacuzzi anvil here. Uh, the, the, this tree certainly wasn't there. Um, the shark that you, you saw earlier uh, wasn't here for sure, um, and nor was that little trawl either. And, and, and so during the uh, little, little bit of fun yesterday evening, lots of bits and bobs, I, I was throwing, I was a, I was a real tinker. I got, I got a, whole, um, a whole few stacks of um, snowballs and I started throwing them at people. It was hilarious. It was absolutely hilarious. <laughs> and um, anyway, uh, whilst I was being a tinker, um, yes, well, uh, as you can see, uh, quite a nice tree was erected. And um, the boat is just absolutely epic. Uh, but what about that shark? I mean, that's super. Absolutely super. I don't know whether you noticed, but earlier I popped inside its mouth, went down into its innards where you could see its um, its sort of um, uh, yeah, you know, the, the green parts of the the gut that would otherwise be dissolving you. Um, but what was absolutely hideous was to realise when I went to the, the the very bitter end of its innards, I fell out of his bottom. And um, uh, yes, it, it was it was quite something. When I woke up this morning, one didn't expect to be getting shot out of a, a, a shark's backside. But, but these things these things do happen in in Nether Anarchy. Nether Anarchy, no. Oh, yeah, still happening to me. Phoenix Anarchy, and um, and so we do need to move on. Now. I'm just going to give you one other piece of news which is just incredible and, and, and wonderful all at once. Uh, and, and, and before then giving some of you new fags uh, some advice. And the news is, is just wonderful. Out of um, almost nowhere, um, the player Jenna uh, who was uh, my first ever teammate on Java uh, Minecraft um, made contact yesterday. Now, I think it may be connected with the fact that I released a video talking about uh, rebuilding Terra Town 2. Maybe that caught uh, Jenna's eye and To look back now, such small uh, things, but what, which meant quite a lot to us at the time, I think, both of us. And um, 
Anyway, it's gone, uh, it's gone out of hand, and um, let's just say we were no longer friends, um, and uh, we haven't had any contact whatsoever. Uh, obviously, I continued playing on Nether Anarchy, but then that shut down. Joe and I left Nether Anarchy, um, uh, and uh, I think, and, and for all intents and purposes, stopped playing. Um, anyway, yesterday, uh, just prior to meeting with the chap from Venom Force at Terra Time 2, uh, I had a contact uh, via Discord, and it was just absolutely super, 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 um, that Joe and I had decided just to say hi. And so, with apologies uh, on, on my part, said, uh, and hellos, and greetings, and a, a really lovely chat. Um, it may be that Joe and I will be logging on to Phoenix Anarchy here at some point, uh, not, not immediately soon, uh, but at some point, and um, if that happens, I'm, I'm just going to be absolutely stoked. So, as promised, for all the new fans out there, um, some advice, what would I say? Well, first of all, you need to get wood and get wood, of course. I think we've already done that. But we do also need to think, actually, how far do you need to go to build a base? Well, you don't need to go 100,000 plus to build yourself a base just to get some food. Uh, so, you know, I would suggest just get out of spawn, maybe get 10, 15,000 away. The server's not super, super, super busy at the moment. We're at somewhere between 15 and 40 players, uh, on average, I think, at the moment, given whatever time of day. And and then when you're sort of 10, 15,000 away, maybe 20, whatever, um, build yourself a little base where you can cook up some food, do some farming, whatever it is you want to do, and, um, and, and stock yourself up on some food, get yourself some, uh, you know, basic armour, doesn't necessarily need to be enchanted, but get yourself sorted out, ready for the onward journey. Now, when you're ready to actually set up and invest some time in a proper place, the, the, the sort of common vernacular would say anything within 100,000 is basically a spawn camp. 100,000 up to a million is probably a kind of outpost. Million plus really is where you're getting safer. If you're going to build a mega base, then at least at least two or three million and do you know if you're going that far why not more i mean why would why would you not roof travel is available one can get on the roof using a pearl if one doesn't understand how to use their hack client otherwise you can click click or you can tp with free count so there's lots and lots of different ways up onto the roof roof travel is limited to 20, I don't know, 16 blocks per second. So it's not quite as quick as traveling in the nether, but of course it's uh, hassle-free. And given that we don't have highways at the moment very far, probably your best option. Now, um, when you get wherever you're getting to, you probably need to make sure you've got at least one uh, base mate. Or uh, an alternative account, an alt. Um, I mean, there are other things you can do, but this is so that you can set a bed and then block your bed with blocks or, or, or delete your or, or break your bed um, uh, and then slash kill uh, to go back to spawn before replacing the bed or unblocking the bed. And then when you slash kill again, you will return to your base. There's other ways of travel as well, but uh, if you don't know them, then you'll have to learn somehow. But that's the most basic, rudimentary one. If you've got a base mate, they can do it for you. If you've got an alternative account, i.e. two accounts running on the server, 
that you can hop on your other account and, uh, and, and replace the bread bed or unlock the bed. Or, of course, uh, the, the final option, more complicated, uh, you can do it with one account with a chunk loader. Um, uh, and so this is the way to chunk. So even though you've gone the wrong way out, you can then nip back to spawn for, um, as the legend that was and is, uh, spicy red potato coined and dubbed, you can pop back to spawn for some uh, shenanigans. I think it's wonderful, absolutely wonderful, but a shenanigan. Um, and, uh, and I think we should all use shenanigans. I think poggers is a thing in Minecraft, and I personally think that um, uh, because of uh, spicy red potatoes, legendary status, uh, shenanigans should become a thing too. Maybe a shenanig or something. I don't know. Anyway, fare thee well.